Good morning, everybody. BTC Simmer with you. Afternoon. Good evening. How is everybody? Great. Good. Awesome. Okay, we're here at uh, Port Hardy. Port Hardy, British Columbia, Canada. Not just any uh, Port Hardy. This is Mazemart's version. If you guys remember last week we went to, we uh, did Sandspit, his uh, version of Sandspit. Awesome airport. Um, this is just as good. A um, few dependencies on this one. Um, once you hit the download button, you'll see it'll bring up, uh, you'll need WinThings, Dave's 3D li People Library, and then Dave's Crooked Library, so no big deal. They're all there, you can download them all. And uh, yeah, we'll have a quick look around the airport, and then we'll jump in the G36 and go for a uh, circuit. Sounds good, since I haven't flown this one in uh, Flight Sim yet, so that'll be exciting. But uh, anyways guys, let's have a look around the airport and go from there. But before I do, I must, must announce the price. Price BTC today, guys. What are we at here? 23215 US dollars and 31202 Canadian. So it perked up a little bit there. Um, it will here and there, ebbs and flows, right? That doesn't matter. Just, uh, just stack, guys. That's all I'm saying. Stack, stack for the future. Uh, long term, long term. Generational stacking. And uh, if you have an emergency, you know Bitcoin will be there. All right, let's have a look around. So he's got uh, this cool the compass here, compass rose right on the uh, right on the ramp there, which is pretty neat. The FS LTL I'm running, so some traffic there. We got some containers. Hanger here. He has a uh, hanger with opening and closing doors here, which you can actually pop right inside it. Nice little hanger setup. Bunch of stuff in here. Pull your plane in. Do whatever you need to do. Looks like it's a. Uh, or seaplane's got some pontoons over here. And then uh, seaplane right here as well. So, actually, that's an amphibious. The wheels. Uh, yeah. So a few more things here. Containers and stuff. And see the windy things add on with the flag. Makes the flags look really good wherever they're added, right? So. More tanks over here in the parking lot. Come on down here to the terminal. You can see some native art, which is awesome, awesome stuff. Um, really good stuff. Expensive, but uh, nice, nice work of art they do over here for sure. And pop on right into the terminal. Have a look around. It's actually a terminal you can walk around in. They got the counter here, ticket counter, baggage area here bench there and then a little waiting room area here with the uh, mural of Alert Bay Air which is pretty neat so yeah guys come and have a look at this airport it's free entirely free feel free to tip as well um, come out here you can see the uh, sign right here which is awesome live the adventure welcome to Port Hardy I'm not going to try and pronounce that because I'll just butcher it and I don't want to do that all right, so more of the terminal here. So we got some trees growing in there. <laughs> no big deal. Tower here as well. A few things. We got some float floating uh, object there. It happens. No big deal. Helicopter hangar over here. Nice helicopter there. I don't know a helicopter, so I couldn't even tell you what that is. And, you know, little things like a dumpster there and a few more buildings, cargo containers. Just an awesome, awesome job on the airport. You can even see the taxiways, some cracks and stuff, so makes it much more realistic. All right, guys, we're going to jump on down, go for a quick uh, left-hand circuit around runway 11. Come on down there. The G36, which I've never flown before, so that'll be exciting. All right, so let's find some power here. Beacon navs. Quickly going over this stuff, guys. No, uh, not going to learn anything here. Uh, hitting all kinds of buttons. There's a parking brake. We got our mixture there. We got a prop there and our throttle here. So what are we going to do? We're going to go full mixture, full prop. Add that up. Put the fuel pump on for a sec. Fuel pump off, 
extra come back down. Go to both, give it a sec. Fire that up, extra full, back to both. Like I said, guys, I don't know if that's the proper procedure or not, but... It's a nice aircraft included with the Sobo. G1000 and everything else, so that's good. Right, we'll just dial in 112, which is the VOR here. And it shows up there, that's good. And we're working off runway 11 today, so runway 11. Let's see, I got flight plan go here, 113. We want on our CDI, we'll go to VOR. And 113. <laughs> okay, we'll get that ready and we're ready to go here. We are using FSLTL, so we'll tune the traffic. One, two, two, niner. Two, two niner. We'll go 11. Charlie Yankee Zulu Tango, Traffic Beechcraft, Bravo Tango Charlie Sierra India Mike Mike Echo Romeo is taxiing to runway 11. And we got our taxi lights on, put our strobes on. Look here, make sure no one's coming. And we're just going to go ahead with the rolling takeoff, guys. We'll throw 10 degrees of flaps on. Or would it be 10 degrees or would it be takeoff? I guess it would be takeoff or approach, they call it. In this airplane, put our landing lights on, taxi lights off. Make sure our pedo heat's on. Charlie Yankee Zulu Tango, Traffic Beechcraft, Bravo Tango Charlie Sierra India Mike Mike Echo Romeo, taking off runway 11 right touch and go. It's a very, seems like a very simple plane to fly, guys, so if you've never flown it, just go up full power, make sure our props are full. And I'd assume you'd lift off around 60-ish. And you do a gumps check because you got a prop and a mixture. So you go gas, looks good. Undercarriage, you got gear in this airplane, we'll bring that up. Tap the brakes. Prop, we can touch it back a little bit. Mixture, we'll leave it right where it is. Flaps, we can get rid of those with the switches and landing lights. They're a little high already, but that's all right. I'm gonna make our turn at about 500 feet. Gotta remember we got gear in this airplane, so. Do a quick little turn to the left here. Enjoy the nice scenery, British Columbia. Love this area, guys. I'm from northern BC myself, so. Here we are at a thousand feet. We can come back down on the throttle. Good uh, visibility in this airplane, that's for sure. Pop open the ATC panel here. Charlie Tell them Yankee we're on Zulu Tango, Traffic Beechcraft, Bravo Tango Charlie Sierra India Mike Mike Echo Romeo is on downwind runway 11. Not quite on downwind yet, but making the downwind turn. I'm 
I'm losing altitude here, so I gotta watch that. We're cruising, holy moly. This airplane flies. Mind the pun. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a fast plane, holy. We're just we're losing too much altitude here, obviously, but it's kind of airspeed. See the threshold lights there. Yeah, we're a bit too low for a circuit. We're 500 feet. We should be around. It's coming down off 1,000 right now, but that's okay. She does fly real nice, though. 500. <laughs> I mean, I'm used to slower planes, obviously. Little Cessna and the uh, Twin Otter, so. Hope we clear those uh, little islands there. Okay, we'll turn base. Charlie Yankee Zulu Tango, Traffic Beechcraft, Bravo Tango, Charlie Sierra India, Mike Mike Echo Romeo is on base runway 11. Throw out a good 10 degrees of flaps here and we'll slow right on down. And we'll get our gear down as well. I used to using gear and look at that, we're like just above this little island here. <laughs> Here's some throttle and climb above that. Don't want to be landing there. Some good visuals. Here we caught the caught, caught the wave there once we went over top of this. Now it's on final. Charlie Yankee Zulu Tango, Traffic Beechcraft, Bravo Tango, Charlie Sierra India, Mike Mike Echo Romeo is on final runway, 1-1 one, one touch and go left traffic. Don't sink, don't sink, don't sink. Not quite final, but. Don't sink, 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 don't sink. Put our landing flaps out. My apologies for the sloppy flying guys, and that is annoying, <laughs> but hey, got our gear down and everything, looking good, Comes check, prop and mixture are full, landing lights are on now. <laughs> Right, actually wasn't too bad of a landing. We'll come back around here and taxi this way. Bring those flaps up. Crank off the pedo heat. Go into external here, hit the brakes. So, just a warning guys, if you've never flown the G36 and you're not used to fast planes, holy moly is it fast. Try and keep straight with the runway here, but see how that goes. It's a fun plane. Um, 
sure Carnado, Carnado or whatever you want to call it has one of these. If you're into that. But Where do we taxi here at the end, I think? Yeah, it looks like we taxi right off the end here. Yeah, I recommend this airport, guys. Mazer Mart on flightsim.to. Link will be in the description. Check it on out. See the detailed taxiway. It looks really neat. Yeah, he really brings these airports to life. I mean, I wasn't here in the stock version, so I don't know what it looked like, but uh, can't imagine it being anything too exciting. <laughs> We'll get spun around here. Looks like the fuel area here. And we'll leave it right there. Parking brake on. And hop on back down into the airplane here. And how would I just turn this one off? First I go avionics off. Make sure I got the landing lights off. Nav lights, strobe lights. Leave the beacon on until the engine's off. Then I would go, uh, would you feather the prop? Bring the throttle back down, feather the prop, cut the mixture. Then turn your lights off, avionics off. Only you could open the door. <laughs> Fun little airplane there, guys. Do these work? <laughs> I know they don't. Maybe they do. Okay, off and external. Anyways, this one wasn't so much about uh, the flight itself, more about the uh, the airport here. Check it on out, guys. It's definitely worth it. Um, and being free, I mean, feel free to leave a tip as well. Did very good work here. Terminal building's amazing. I've only seen that a couple times in freeware. Uh, Vagar over in... Uh, ooh, look at that. Yeah, it's just... Don't see it too much, but... You can go right in the, uh, right in the tower here as well. <laughs> and the screens are actually working. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Alright guys, check that out. Thanks for watching. Quick uh, Sunday fun flight here, and uh, remember to stack them sats, and we will catch you on the next one.